Okay, hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with work mode and happy new year to everyone that is watching. It's 2017 now and it's 2017 because uh, it's a new year in our calendar. So today's topic for the video is uh, Google Calendar integration in org mode. If we are talking about calendars, uh, uh, guess the first question is why do you use uh, Google Calendar? Um, the thing is, I used Google Calendar because it has some advantages over org mode, of course. Because org mode is nice to, to organize the tasks that you have to do. But uh, <coughs> org mode is missing, for example, an alarm. That uh, if I schedule something for today at, at noon or whatever, I have to remind uh, myself that this is at uh, noon. There is no alarm that uh, goes off and it notifies me 10 minutes before that now I have to switch tasks or I have to go to a meeting. That's, that's the job of the calendar. And of course uh, you use a calendar to, to share your events or your, your block dates with others. Or in my case, I have my own calendar in Google Calendar. I have uh, the calendar of my wife and my kids and of my shooting club and so on. So it's it's a nice tool and I, I also have it on the smartphone. So wherever I am, uh, I have my calendar with me. But uh, anyway, I wanted to have a goal for this year and my goal was, in this case, I want the Google Calendar entries up here in my old mode agenda views. Because you, if you have seen the last video, I showed you my system and you know I am doing a daily plan in the morning or the evening before. And so far it's nice because I see everything that's in old mode. But that what I don't see in the agenda views is what's on my calendar. So I have to open the calendar in another window and I have to look at two things and uh, that's a bit disappointing. So I was thinking, okay, I want a sort of integration of my Google Calendar, a, a really a, a very basic approach. It's not that I want to uh, set up events in the Google Calendar from org mode or synchronize between them or put my tasks into the Google Calendar or whatever. The calendar is just for meetings and appointments and uh, org mode is for all the rest. But if I schedule my day, I want to see both in one agenda view. So if you look in the org mode uh, tutorial site, there is a uh, approach that says, okay, you have your Google Calendar somewhere on the web and you have a cron job on your PC and the job of your cron job is that you download a Google Calendar file or you download another one if you are using several calendars like I do. So at the end you have a set of ICS files on your PC and then what you need is a conversion script. There is one that is in AWK that's uh, linked on the tutorial site. There's another one uh, available on GitHub uh, in Python. And there's one Perl script also around. And the idea is that you take the first file and push it through that script and you end up with a transformed file in org mode. Uh, so you can read this in org mode and it will show you everything in, in org mode syntax and you can do the same for the other file and so on. So at the end you have a set of org files that you just have to include in your custom agenda views and then you are done. So far for the theory. That was what I tried out around Christmas. And yeah, it was nice. I had a nice cron job and uh, I created my org files and then I looked at my agenda views and then I said, oops, something is missing. And I saw a problem because my case, in my case, when I'm, uh, my, my shooting club calendar has some repeating events 
when we do a sort of competition over two or three weeks, then uh, the events uh, repeat and they repeat by day in a week. So we do it every Tuesday and every Friday. And if you have such a setup in your Google Calendar, then your transformation scripts uh, are really not able to handle this correctly. For one, uh, they can't handle that because repeating by day is not a, a repetition uh, thing that, that old mode has natively uh, inside. So I can't uh, create uh, an easy uh, repetition tag for, for a schedule that says uh, repeat this task every Tuesday and every Friday. There was one script that was the Python script that, that was really uh, creating a single event for every repetition for a period of time, but also this script doesn't uh, recognize those by day uh, repetitions correctly. So either it's completely missing or you are missing the Fridays. So I said, okay, this is not really what I want because I, I want to see everything in my calendar. So I made an other approach. It's the same. On the download side, I have my cron job that downloads the uh, several ICS files. But then I had a look into the uh, diary manual from Emacs. Because Emacs has a calendar mode and it has a diary mode. And the diary import uh, tutorial or man page says uh, there's a function that is called iCalendar import file. And that takes an ICS uh, file and creates a diary out of it, a diary file. So if you do that, you can take the first one and create a Google diary file or diary Google or whatever. And then the next one you write into the same diary file because in your agenda view it's only tagged with diary. So there is no use to have several files for that. And you can take the last one, so you see your diary file is growing and the nice thing is this diary file really contains everything, also the repeating events that made troubles uh, in the other system. And what then you have to do is two things in your iMac setup file, you have to set org agenda include diary to true, that means in every agenda you will also see diary entries and in your diary file you have uh, just an include uh, of that diary file that you created with the cron script. So that's it and we can have a look at this in real life. You see this is my calendar for February and this is the event that is repeating by date. If you see here if I work on that, then you see it's on Tuesday and on Friday. So this one was the thing that caused trouble. So now let me go to my org mode side. You see this is my daily plan for today. And you can now say I want to see my calendar. This is the IMAX calendar as we know it when we press Ctrl C, Ctrl S to schedule uh, something. And now the nice thing is if I press M, that highlight every uh, day that has an event on it in my diary, then you see I suddenly have a lot of days. And here you see that the 14th and the 17th and the 21st and the 24th from my Google Calendar, those days, they are now also visible in my IMAX Calendar. So if I would go here and press D, you would see there is that event. And let's go back to the org mode buffer. Nah, let me go there. I want to see my plan. No. Okay, next one. We are here. And now we do an agenda view, see, uh, agenda, let me see, I take the one for my shooting club 
and I take a weekly view. So you see that's what I have to do. That's what I had scheduled for 10 days. And here you see all the diary entries that come from that diary from my Google Calendar, from the different files that I downloaded. And if I go forward some weeks, oh yeah, we are here, January 19 and so on. Let's go to February. So you see, this is the week 14 February. There is the entry that is repeating by day and on Friday it's the same. So mission accomplished. That's what, what I really wanted to do for my planning setup that I have an agenda view that also shows what's on my calendar. I also show uh, the holidays and special dates like Valentine's Day. I didn't, I don't have an uh, entry in my Google Calendar that says Valentine's Day or if you go back, you remember there was some um, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, that's not nothing that we uh, celebrate in Germany. It's just uh, built in from IMAX. You can turn this off by, by some calendar settings, but uh, at, at the moment they don't disturb me if it's just one line. And, and for me it's important that I see on every day what's in my calendar and I'm happy with that. that that's something that, that makes life easier when I plan my, my days and when I do my daily plan. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year again. I hope you enjoy it. I'm, I'm really happy to see that I'm uh, getting uh, more subscribers every week. I get nice comments. I still have stuff to do and videos to do, but uh, it will take a bit of time because now we have uh, first month of the year. And for a president of a shooting club, this means a lot of work for organizational things and bureaucracy and, and everything. So stay tuned. You know, I'll be back.